Hey, what's going on guys? Promaker Dev here. And in this video, we're actually gonna create some very, very cool HTML, CSS, and JavaScript project. All right, so this, this project is, is actually going to be very, very simple. And if you're a beginner in JavaScript, this is going to be the perfect project for you. So you better stick around. All right, so in this project, we're actually gonna be building a pop-up window, AKA a model. Okay, so here, um, if we click on that button right here, a window is going to drop out from the top. And if we click anywhere in the blur, this pop-up is actually going to disappear. And uh, also if we click here on the X in the top right, it's also going to disappear. And it, you can see that it has a little bit of transition um, which is pretty cool. All right, so I'm here on my HTML. Um, I have everything set. I have created a section and I have created an H1 saying click the button below to pop up a window. And I've also got a, uh, created a button and I've wrapped them both in a, in, a, in a div called center so that I can center them in the middle. And that's what I have right here. I have the, the, the H1 right here and also the, the button. Um, so when I click on the button, nothing's gonna happen because we haven't started working on that yet. And that's basically what we're gonna do in, in this in this video. I also have a background as you can see. So it's looking pretty neat. Uh, you can you can find the the code, the source code of those stylings down below in the description. And now we're gonna start brand new with a separate uh, CSS file that I have right here. Uh, the other stylings are in a in a separate CSS file. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna have to do is create a div, all right? And I'm gonna call it parent div, or you know what? Um, I'm gonna call it modal parent, okay? So this is actually going to be the parent of the modal. And here I'm gonna create another div and I'm gonna call it the modal. So uh, this is actually our main modal, okay? And here I'm just gonna place a, a P tag and inside of it, I'm just gonna uh, paste a, uh, a a dummy text, lorem ipsum and also right under here, I'm gonna create a span, all right? So span, and in between this span, I'm actually gonna create, generate a, an X, all right? And, and this is actually an HTML trick. So I'm gonna do ampersand and then times and then semicolons, and this is going to uh, make us an X, all right? So if we go here and refresh, uh, we can see this is the, the dummy text, and this is the X that I told you about. That, now, what I wanna do with this X, I wanna put it right here, just like here, this is the finished product. And when we click on here, we got this X right here so that when we when we click on it, it kind of um, gets rid of the modal. All right, so um, this is actually scrollable. Now, we don't want it this way. We're gonna get rid of this uh, using the CSS when we're styling the thing. I'm also going to give this span a class so that I can easily target it later on. So class, and I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna call it X because uh, it is actually an X. Okay, so actually we're done with the HTML and we're gonna move on to the CSS. As I told you before, the other stylings are in the other file because I've got two files. If you wanna download them, I'm gonna leave the link down below in the description and that's about it. So here on the CSS, the first thing I'm gonna have to do is target the modal parent. So modal parent and um, I'm, I'm gonna have to position it fixed, all right? So I'm gonna do position fixed. And the reason why I did this Wait, um, position fixed. And the reason why I did this is because I want it to stick in the screen when I scroll down. I don't want it to, to, uh, to, to disappear. I want it to be fixed in the screen. And I'm also going to set the top to zero and the left to zero. And if we were to go and uh, refresh the page, it's going to be right here fixed. And we don't really have a scroll yet, but um, oh, sorry about that. Um, it's going to be fixed anyway. And after that, I'm going to set the height to 100 view height. And I'm also gonna set the width to uh, 100% so that it takes the whole screen. Now this is going to do nothing if we were to go and refresh the page, but the dimensions of the modal parent is, is actually stretched all the way in the screen. So it's 100% on the screen. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, target the child or the, uh, the main modal. So. The main modal is this, all right? So this is the main modal. And I'm gonna, I'm actually targeting the main modal and I'm going to give it a background of white, all right? So this is a background of white. And if we were to go here and refresh, you can see that it has a white background. And we also wanna set uh, the width to like uh, 70%, 70% of the screen. 
So when we refresh, it kind of gets shrunk a little bit. And um, we want to add a little padding as well because it kind of looks a little ugly. So uh, we want to do 30 pixels to make it look a little better. Yeah, it's pretty fine. And um, uh, we also want to put a border radius. So border radius to like six pixels. And um, finally, we need to position it in the middle. And for that, I'm going to position this absolute. And I'm going to set the top to 50%. And the left is also going to be 50%. And um, this is actually not going to position it in the center you, you see it's it's a little it's a little fucked up <laughs> but um what you need to do is just transform translate and um minus 50 percent comma minus 50 percent and this is going to position it right in the middle which is pretty cool also i want to set the font size to um a little like 20 pick 22 pixels and the font family to uh to like uh, Ariel or something. I think it's already in Ariel. No, it's not. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's, that's looking awesome. Now, all we have to do is position this uh, th this X right here in the corner, top right. And for that, I'm going to target the X. So I'm gonna do uh, X and obviously I'm gonna position this absolute. And uh, in order for it to be positioned relatively to the modal, I'm gonna have to position the modal um, relative so that it starts counting from the modal's borders. And right here in the X, I'm going to set the right to like 20 pixels and the the, the top to, to 5 pixels. And I'm going to set the font size to, to like 30 pixels, yeah. Alright, that's pretty cool. And I'm also going to uh, give it a cursor pointer, so cursor pointer. And actually, uh, the font size is going to be 40 because it's a little smaller. Okay, that's pretty cool. It has a cursor pointer. And actually, when we double click on it, it kind of gets selected. And we don't want that. It kind of looks a little ugly. So um, what we, what you want to do is go to the HTML and set the draggable, set it to true so that it doesn't get selected. It actually gets dragged. So now if we refresh, uh, I, I'm clicking on it, but it's not getting selected, which is what we want. Now, what I want to do is give this modal an animation. So because I want it to drop from the top, if you can see right here in the finished product, when we click on this button, it kind of drops the, the modal from the top like this. Now, I want to do this. And in order for me to do this is by setting an animation to the modal. So I'm going to go all the way. This is the modal and I want to give it animation. All right. Um, animation and uh, it's going to be one second and I'm going to name it drop drop down or you know just just drop we're cool now obviously I'm going to create keyframes so I'll do keyframes wait uh, two ats and I want to set the zero zero percent uh, to and I'm going to put zero percent and a uh, hundred percent now what we want to do in the zero percent you see the stop right here it's set to 50%. In the modal, we have set the top to 50%. Now at the 0%, we don't want the top to be set to 50%, but we want to actually set it to minus 100 pixels so that it doesn't show, it doesn't appear on the screen. And at the 100%, we want the top to go back to 50% so that it's in the middle. Now, if we go and refresh the page, <laughs> it's not working. All right, well, we have... Uh, Okay, the identifier. We haven't really identified the the uh, the keyframes, so I have named it drop. So I'm just gonna copy paste this right here, and alrighty, we have it dropping from the top just like we want it, which is pretty cool. And we're almost done with the HTML and CSS now. Um, all we have to do is go to the to the parent and display everything. All that we have created, we want to display it to none so that it doesn't appear and when we do that nothing is going to appear but when we're working on the javascript we want to change the display from none to blocks so that it actually appears and everything happens all right so that's actually about it now we're going to move on to the javascript and um actually the javascript is actually very very easy all right so nothing to worry about so the first thing that we will do is start creating variables the first variable is going to be the modal parents all right so this is the first variable 
and actually I'm going to name it parent. So parent equals to document dot query selector. Um, and then right here, I'm just going to copy paste really lazy to type all that out. So copy paste it right here. And, um, there's going to be another variable and the next variable is going to be the button. So this is actually the button that I'm talking about and there's only one button. So I didn't, I, I haven't really given it any, any, uh, class. I'm going to name it BTN equals to document dot query selector and, uh, button gave it the tag of button. And uh, the next variable is the X. So I'll do capital X equals to document dot query selector, query selector. And here I'll just do X and that's it. So now I will add an event listener to the button. So I'm going to go and do button dot add event listener right here, the event is going to be click. So it's going to be a click event. And um, when we click on the button or, or when we click on the BTN, I want you to fire off the function that is called appear. And we haven't really created that function yet. And that's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to create a function and I'm going to name it appear. And inside of this function, what I want to do, I want to go ahead to the parent. I want to target the parent and, and I want to go to the style, the styles of the parent, and I'm going to set the display, set its display to block. Okay. So at first in the, in the CSS, we have the display none. And when we click on the button, uh, JavaScript is going to change the display from none to blocks. Now, if we go and refresh the page, if we click on the button, the modal is going to drop from the top. But I will add a little something that is going to make my page look a little better. So if we go right here, this is the this is the finished product. And when we click on the button, we have this uh, this this blur. OK, the, uh, can, like the background gets a little blurred out so that it kind of looks like we're focusing on the modal itself. So uh, in order to do that, I'm going to go back and uh, I'm going to add another variable and the variable is going to be section. All right. So this is actually easy. Don't freak out. So this is the section that I am targeting and I, I will just define that variable. So I'm going to go ahead and do section and then document dot query selector. And right here, I'll just do section. So that's the section that we're targeting. Um, it's actually targeting everything. Um, and right here, I'm going to go and write section and I want to set the style dot filter and I'm going to set it to blur. So if you're not familiar with this property, with the CSS property, what it does is basically uh, blur out whatever you're targeting. So um, I'm going to place a value in between the brackets and it's going to be uh, six pixels or you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do 10 pixels. And if we go ahead and refresh the page and, and uh, click on the button, you see the background gets a little blurred out and, and it's focusing on the the modal. Now, I also want to add a little transition to the to the blurs because when I click on the button, it right away gets blurred out. But in the finished products right here, when we click on the button, it kind of gradually uh, gets blurred blurred out. And that's because um, in the section, I'm going to go. I'm, I'm actually here on my CSS and uh, I'll just target the section and I'm going to give it transition. OK, so I'm going to give it a transition of, of uh, two seconds. So so um, when we refresh, it gets blurred out gradually, which is what we want. Everything is cool. And it's trust me, it's very, very simple. Now, the thing is, if we want to hide the modal, it doesn't really get hidden at all. So when we click on the button, the modal is going to drop out. And once we want to we want to get rid of it, it doesn't really get disappeared at all. And that's what we want to do. We want to we want it to 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 be disappeared when we click on the X. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, add an event listener to the X. So X dot add event listener. And when we click on it, I want you to fire off another function, which is uh, disappear. Okay. Disappear and disappear X. All right. And now I'm going to have to create the function and I'm going to name it disappear. All right. Disappear X. And what I want this function to do is go to the parent and go to the style of the parent 
style and then go to the to the display and then set it to none it's going to set it back to none but also um i'm going to get rid of the blur as well so i'm just going to copy this and um set the blur to zero so there's going to be no blur at all so if we go ahead and refresh we click on the button this is going to drop out and when we click on the x all right well i got another problem uh Oof, okay, that's going to be a capital X as well. So right now, change, click on the modal. All right, now we got it, we got it. Now, when we click on the X, the, the, the modal is going to disappear. Now we also have to do another thing. We we want to, we, we want the modal to disappear when we click on, on the, the blur, okay? So when we click on the blur, we want it to disappear, but it's actually not disappearing. So for that, I'm also going to have to um, add an event listener to the parent, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and, and do parent, add event listener, and when we click on the parent, um, I want you to fire off another function, and that function is going to be, is going to be disappear, is going to be called disappear um, parent, okay? So disappear parent, we're good. Now just copy, paste this. I'm gonna create the, uh, the function, so function, and then right here, and then right here, you really, really need to focus, all right? So I'm pretty sure that you guys all understand or know what e.targets is, okay? So um, we're gonna have to use this, okay? So uh, the first thing that we will do is create an, an if statement. So I will do if, and then if e.target, but first, before doing this, I'm just going to place e right here. So. So you have to place an, an, a variable here, which is E, and which basically stands for event. So we have to place an E right here, and then you wanna go ahead and write E.targets. And what that basically means is whatever we click on. That right here means whatever we click on. So whatever we click on dot class name, class name equals to modal parents, which is right here. I'm just gonna copy paste it. That means if the class name of whatever we click on is equal to modal parents, modal parents, um, I want you to uh, to to uh, make these changes in which they are the same as these. All right, so I'm just gonna copy paste them. All right, so the parent dot style display none, and also the blur is going to be zero. Okay, it's going to be set to zero. And you really just need to understand this one right here. So if we, uh, if the class of whatever we click on is equal to modal parent, um, I want you to apply these changes. Oh shoot, I think I've got a problem right here. <clears throat> I need to put another um, equal sign right about here because this is an if statement. All right, now if we go ahead and refresh, click on the button, this is gonna drop out. And if we click on the blur, this is going to, uh, to disappear. And notice that if we clicked on the main modal, it's not going to disappear because this doesn't really have a class of parents. Um, only the blur has the class of parent. This has a class of modal, all right? And that's actually about it. Um, everything is working just fine. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I really, really hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something new. If you have really learned something new, comment down below and tell me what it is. Um, and if you have any questions, you can just comment down below as well and I'm going to answer you pretty much instantly. The source code is going to be down below in the description and uh, don't forget to like the video if you have enjoyed it Please, please, please and subscribe to my channel. That is going to be a huge help. Thank you guys very much for watching